Amani channel here. This is webvideochefs.com. In this episode, I'll show you how you can create a vlog using Final Cut Pro 10. It's really simple to do. Amani channel. This is webvideochefs.com. And in this episode, we're talking about starting a vlog using Final Cut X or Final Cut 10. Right, I'm sure you've seen Final Cut 10 by now. This is the layout. And if you're watching this, you probably have Final Cut 10. So to create a vlog, you want to um, import. This is just a talking head vlog um, is what we're talking about. So go to this little icon here. This is uh, the little camera icon. It says import media from a connected device. So you want to click on that. And bam, that will activate your eyesight camera. All right. And so... Let's make some slight adjustments here. All right, so this is basically, um, you know, the eyesight camera. You can also use an external webcam via USB, or you can even have like a, a FireWire-enabled camera also plugged in this way if you just want to capture uh, your media or your video that way. All right, but there are a few things um, that I want to talk about. First of all, is your set. So your set is your background, what it looks like. You should always have some sort of uh, something interesting in the background. At least you shouldn't ever have like just a white wall or anything like that directly behind you. So I have uh, some diplomas and some other plaques in picture there, um, which is kind of interesting. But the one thing that I don't like is right there, the closet, which is open. And there's also a light, which, you know, it's not so bad in this situation. But let's say if that was a window and the sunlight was coming through, that could uh, create a silhouette situation called a back. It could create a back uh, backlit. It could be backlit. Um, so you always want to, if you're like in front of a window, if a window's behind you and the sun is coming through, you want to close the blinds. I mean, in this case, I'm going to turn off the light and close the door. Uh, so let's do that now. Got to make sure it's really close. All right. Um, the next thing, um, which isn't so much of an issue right now, um, but could be, I have an overhead light as well as a table light right in front of me and um, a clamp light that's uh, sort of illuminating my face. Um, depending upon how it looks, you might want to turn off your overhead light. In this situation, I'm just going to leave it on. Um, but the third thing that I'm noticing is my camera isn't really eye level, and that's something that I notice on a lot of vlogs. Sometimes if someone's using their webcam, um, it can be create like it can look like uh, the camera's kind of pointing up the person's nose, depending upon how high or low their webcam is in relation to where their uh, face is. So for these purposes, I'm going to go ahead and the solution that I have, which is behind me, uh, I'm going to use this box here and prop up my computer just a little bit. It's a laptop, so I'm going to prop it up. Um, so that it, it is a little more eye level. Right. And the other thing that it does is it kind of uh, minimizes uh, the microphone being in the shot. And I like that. I like that look a little bit better. All right. And so once you get the shot framed up how you want it to look, um, you want to, I always like to, when I'm just doing a talking head vlog, which is what I'm demonstrating now, I like to always try to be as centered as possible uh, with my eyes kind of in the upper third of the frame. And that looks good to me. All right. So um, the reason why the, the lip sync is a little bit off is just because this is the webcam and we're not recording yet, um, though the screen capture is recording. So it's a little off a few seconds. All right. But what you want to do is go to import and click import and then create a new event we're going to call this uh let's call this it's already existing event test so what is that? that'll be fine just import and then you will see um that it is importing and so what i like to do is i like to do a little countdown so i'll go three two one amani channel here this is webvideochefs.com and in this episode i'll show you how you can create a vlog using final cut pro 10 it's really simple to do Keep it here on Web Video Chefs. Hold it for a few seconds. Yeah, it looks weird. It feels weird holding your smile for a few seconds, but hold it. And then you hit stop import. 
All right, and then you can close it. All right, so now you will see the clip right here. This is the clip that we just recorded, and we can scrub through it. Out down, so I'll go three, two, one. All right, hit I where you want to start the clip. So we'll hit I right there. Amani channel here. This is webvideochefs.com. In this episode, I'll show you how you can create a vlog using Final Cut Pro 10. It's really simple to do. Keep it here on Web Video Chefs. And we'll go O for out. And then we'll just drag it down into the timeline. And hit OK. And we have recorded our first little clip. Amani channel here. This is webvideochefs.com. In this episode, I'll show you how you can create. But that's basically it. All right. So it's pretty simple to do. Um, just getting you started, though. I can show you some other things later on. Hopefully, this was helpful, though. Amani channel, Web Video Chefs. You can always ask us at ask at webvideochefs.com. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook. Um, leave a comment, subscribe. All right, talk to you soon. Hope this was helpful. Peace.